Welcome or welcome back to being passionate learner. In this video, we will explore how breaking down complex problems into smaller problems help us to solve them efficiently and why certain problem structures are advantageous. Contents here is what we are going to discuss in this video. We will start with an overview of a problem structure. We will dive into role of independent subproblems, constraint graphs, and how directed arc consistency can simplify the process. We will also look at advanced techniques like cycle cut set, tree decomposition, and symmetry breaking to further optimize problem solving. Let us start with what is problem structure? The structure of a problem refers to how we break it down into smaller, more manageable subproblems. In CSPs, we represent these structures using a constraint graph which helps us to visualize how variables and their constraints are connected. This method is not limited to CSPs but can also be used in probabilistic reasoning and many real world problems. Independent subproblems. Some problems can be divided into independent subproblems. For example, in the map coloring of Australia, Tasmania is isolated from the mainland. Any valid solution for the mainland can be combined with any valid solution for Tasmania to solve the entire problem. By splitting down like this, we can drastically reduce the computational complexity. Connected components In CSPs, connected components are groups of variables that are directly or indirectly connected by constraints. Dividing problems into such components helps reduce complexity. For example, instead of solving a single problem with 80 variables, splitting it into four subproblems drastically lower computational cost. If we divide a problem into C different connected components, then complexity drops from big O of d raised to n to big O of d raised to c into n divided by c. Directed arc consistency. Directed arc consistency is a property where each variable in the problem is consistent with all variables that follow it in a certain order. This works particularly well in a tree structured CSPs, allowing us to solve these problems in a linear time. To achieve this, we use topological sort to order the variables in the right sequence. Now let's see what is topological sort. In a topological sort, we order variables in a way that each variable follows its parent in a tree structured CSP. For example, if A is a root, we process B, C and D after A. This ordering allows us to move through variables without having to backtrack as consistency is maintained along the way. Here, the diagram A shows the constant graph of tree structured CSP and diagram B shows a linear ordering of a variables consistent with the tree with A as a root. Cycle cut sets in CSPs. In cases where the constant graph is not already a tree, we can use a cycle cut set to remove certain variables and transforming the graph into a tree. For example, by fixing a value for South Australia, the remaining map coloring graph becomes a tree. Once this transformation is done, we can apply tree-based method for a more sufficient solution. Another way of converting graph into a tree is a tree decomposition. Tree decomposition involves breaking down a problem into smaller and connected subproblems. For example, the Australia map coloring problem can be split into several subproblems. Each subproblem has its own solution and the shared variables must remain consistent across subproblems. This method can greatly reduce problem's complexity. Now let's see symmetry breaking. In many CSPs, there are redundant solutions due to symmetry in the problem. For instance, when coloring a map, permuting the color names resulting in equivalent solutions. We can use the symmetry breaking constraint like imposing an order 
NT is less than SA is less than WA to reduce the number of redundant solutions and speed up the search. Symmetry breaking reduces solution space by a factor of n. In conclusion, understanding the constraint of a problem allows us to solve them more efficiently. Techniques like breaking problems into independent subproblems using directed R consistency, cycle cut sets, and symmetry breaking play a significant role in reducing computational complexity and making CSPs more manageable. With this, we have reached to end of this video. Thank you for watching this video till end. See you in my next video. Till then, be passionate learner. Keep learning. Thank you.